director gives the orders. Sekum presses the right button. Here, in this case, Sekum also presses the right trigger. His master's voice. She barely knew the half of it. His master's voice. Because once you enter this family, there's no getting out. The more accurate term would be master's voices. So if you have any doubts or reservations, now is the time to say so. This family comes before everything else. Everything. That's why that day I hit little Polly over the head with that Snapple bottle. I knew I stepped over the line. But it was about so much more than that moment. They had no idea about all the other shit I was dealing with. Like my son's ongoing drug problem. The FBI. When it rains, it pours, huh? You may be wondering when it was that I started cooperating with the FBI. And why. It was after I went to that gas station. That's when they started tailing me. So I guess you could say it's a bit ironic that I went and did a favor for Junior Soprano, who then got a mistrial, but then ended up shooting my boss, Tony Soprano, either way. Also on the same night that I died. Oh, not to mention Deanne wanting us to take the kids and move to Florida. This is Agent San Severino. Hello. So where you been, buddy? Haven't heard from you lately. What'd you say? Nothing, what? We're just breaking balls. Do me a favor, huh? Hold this. My Aunt Edie died. She's a great lady. Only person in my life ever made me feel special. We got a nice surprise in the mail, with a letter telling me I was inheriting just over $2 million from my aunt who'd recently passed. She left me an inheritance, Tom. Just over two mil. Whoa. <laughs> but before I go further, let me step back and acknowledge that horrible elephant in the room, known as my death. I was thinking about buying a place in Fort Myers. Retiring, actually. Retiring? What are you, a hockey player? I can probably make a good guess as to what you're thinking. Why? How could you? After all, I heard what everyone was saying at my wake. Suicide? That would be unfathomable to them. They couldn't wrap their head around something like that around the idea that someone would whack themselves. Targeted by a rival family? It's possible. Getting caught in the line of fire is collateral damage when you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Also a risk of being in this industry. Along with all the other horrible things that happen to wise guys and civilians. Cancer, heart disease, horrible freak accidents, you name it. But dying by your own hand? In the world in which wise guys operate? We're supposed to be soldiers, right? I guess I wasn't cut out for it after all. Maybe he had an inoperable brain tumor or some shit. Yeah, some shit. I guess you could call it that. Hard-working guy. Wife and two kids. Good thing Tony never heard about him killing himself, at least. Got enough on his plate, says Hash Rabkin. Yeah, Tony sure has enough on his plate, all right. Ralph Cifaretto described it pretty well. For you, your taste, the inheritance. So that thing we spoke about, still mulling it. Maybe it was his mother or his old man who took the gas pipe when Eugene was a kid. His son, the drugs, maybe. Maybe he was a homo. Felt there was no one he could talk to about it. After it all happened, my wife and children were inconsolable. And in a bizarre twist of events, the night that I died was the same night that Tony's uncle, Junior, Shot Tony. And it wasn't looking good for him. So much so that our friend Vito here was getting all excited thinking he was about to take the throne. Now, as far as my wife, Deanne was concerned, once she heard that Tony survived being shot by his uncle, Skip's gonna make it, he's got you. She was determined to get revenge. And really, who could blame her? I was surprised she was able to keep herself under control at the funeral. I imagine Xanax and the kids helped with that. No, how she planned on getting that revenge was another matter entirely. She and I never talked about business, but I guess she knew more than she let on. Members only? How long you been wearing that? 
call with the details, get it done. I'm putting a good word to tea about the Florida thing. This family comes before everything else. Everything. Before your wife and your children and your mother and your father. It's a thing of honor. Why are you fighting? We're not fighting, sweetie. We're talking. What kind of not in thing, hmm? I don't know. Teddy, right? Yeah. It's a privilege. Hard-working guy. Wife and two kids. Performing a civic duty we should all take part in. We know you do the right thing. You know, I felt like at least maybe I'd get a little appreciation from Tony for doing that favor and doing it really quickly. Hey, by the way, your Florida thing. Tony asked me to speak to you. That's a no-go. What? Can't be accommodated. You're part of the team. Well, so much for that. To add insult to injury, when I asked if I could talk to Tony about it, still tells me. He doesn't want to be bothered. He's out on his new boat. That's too bad. It would have been great if he could have talked to Deanne about it. So she doesn't think it's just me not making enough of an effort. Obviously that didn't happen. It's not an actual real workplace with human resources and all that. There's one dictator at the top. Take it or leave it. But actually, no. You can't really leave it. So... Just take it. Look, for Tony to- Tony, Tony, why don't you kill him? Put a bullet in his fucking head. I can't do that. But you think I don't know that you've done it before? The ironic part is, even if the microscopically small chance that Tony would actually say yes to us moving to Florida did go through, the FBI wasn't going to go for it. Is our life that bad? It's a privilege. Hardworking guy. Wife and two kids. <clears throat> Performing a civic duty we should all take part in? We know you do the right thing. But, like I said, even if Tony were gone, the FBI would still be there. And they were. Thing is, Gino, you gotta keep in touch with me. You're gonna have a chance to help out in even more important ways. You lost a major asset this month. Here, among your friends, is where you're useful. Florida's just one of those things you gotta let go. And at that point, as pathetic and useless as I felt, to me, there was no way out. Or only one way. May I burn in hell? May, May I, I burn, burn in, in hell? hell? I betray my friends. Finally, if you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline for free, confidential support 24-7. And you can also text the following numbers or visit the International Association for Suicide Prevention website. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this latest video from a character's point of view after death. Let me know what you think.